Hello, I'm Kat Schneider reporting for the newsfeed. This is your feed update for Thursday, March 15th. The number eight seed Virginia Tech plays ninth seeded Alabama tonight on TNT at 9.20 p.m. The two programs have very little recent NCAA tournament experience and both get it this season with at-large bids. The Hokies are one of nine Atlantic Coast Conference teams in the field of 68. The Hokies have their best season under Buzz William and made the tournament for the second straight season. Guard Justin Robinson is the top seat scorer on the team that has five players averaging double digits in points. Colin Sexton is the player to watch for the Crimson Tide. He was SEC co-freshman of the year and second team all SEC. His buzzer beater against Texas A&M helped lead the Crimson Tide into the NCAA tournament. Toys R Us's management has told its employees that it will sell or close all of its U.S. stores. That's according to a toy industry analyst who spoke to several employees who were on the call Wednesday. Jim Silver, a toy industry expert, says Toys R Us's CEO told employees the plan is to liquidate all of its U.S. stores and after that it could do a deal with its Canadian operation to run some of the, its U.S. stores. The chain field for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection last fall saddled with debt that hurt its attempts to compete. It pledged then to stay open, but had weak sales during the critical holiday season. In January, it announced plans to close about 180 stores. United Airlines plans to issue bright colored bag tags to people traveling with pets to prevent animal carriers from being placed in overhead bins following the death of a puppy on one of its flights. The Chicago-based airline says a flight attendant who ordered the passenger to put her pet carrier in the overhead bin didn't know there was a dog inside. The family and other passengers contradict the airline's account, saying the dog barks were audible from inside the bin. United said in a statement it will start issuing the tags by April. The Harris County, Texas District Attorney's Office said its Animal Cruelty Division is working with the county's Animal Cruelty Task Force to investigate what happened. And that's your feed update for this Thursday, March 15th. As always, stay connected with us on Twitter and Facebook for more news and information. I'm Kat Schneider.